when I started doing a lot of these collaborations like a year ago or more, I didn't have a large following and people wouldn't have known who Molly Burke was if the title said Molly Burke dyes my hair. People honestly wouldn't have clicked on it and at the end of the day, for a lot of the people that I collaborate with and for a lot of people on this platform, this is their job and their job relies on, you know, getting clicks on videos. Blind Girl Dyes My Hair, Blind Girl Buys My Outfit is frankly way more clickable than My Friend Dyes My Hair or like Molly Burke Dyes My Hair, like it's just more clickable and I understand like that's the game of YouTube. We need to make our videos like sound appealing and sound interesting for somebody to want to watch it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. My sole purpose is to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So that clip you just saw in my intro, that is Molly Burke, AKA the blind girl, all right? And I've been watching some of her stuff for a while and I was introduced to her through a collab that she did with Shane Dawson. Well, anyways, that video that she just made is about how she is always tagged as the blind girl in other people's videos. And a lot of her audience is like getting really offended by it and they're standing up for her and, and coming in droves and sticking up for her. And they're like, hey, her name's Molly. It's not the blind girl. But Molly made this video explaining like, no, it's cool and here's why we do that. And Molly's basically talking about you gotta play the YouTube game. Like, this is why she does it. Like, she explains that, you know, People have to make these videos and titles and make them so they're clickable, you know? And you know what? I'm just gonna shut up real quick. Just watch this clip. The reality is that just shows like you, you've been given an opportunity to be educated and to learn and to form those opinions. And I think that's really cool. And it's probably something that you, you might not have watched that video if it wasn't for that title, for having Blind Girl in the video title. So yeah, like basically, if they didn't make these clickable titles and make it intriguing, like, oh, a blind girl does this, a blind girl does that, like, people wouldn't even be educated about her disability, about these things. So she's glad that people are learning more about it, and that's how she gained this following. Like, the best analogy I can give is YouTube, to help people, it's kind of like when you gotta give a dog like it's medicine, like a little pill, so you gotta like wrap it up in some like cheese or some meat so they take the pill. Like, that's kind of like what YouTube is. We sometimes, to get a positive message out there and to educate people, we actually have to like wrap it up in something else just so you click on it and you get educated. And I wanted to make this video because I've gotten some comments about that lately about, you know, why I'm talking about, you know, beauty gurus or, you know, other things going on in the YouTube community, but that's what I gotta do. Like, you need to understand, like, my purpose, my purpose is to help as many people with their mental health as possible. Like, I have struggled so much. Six years ago, my life was a complete mess, and it goes back even further than that. I was a drug addict, I was an alcoholic, I struggled with severe depression, severe anxiety, suicidal thoughts, I've had terrible relationships, all sorts of stuff, and now my life is incredible, and all I wanna do is help people. But the problem is, is that mental health is kind of a subject that either A, is really uncomfortable for people, or B, a lot of people aren't even really caring about, so they're not looking for it on YouTube. So I have to sit here and say, okay, how do I help people improve their lives if it's something that they're not even looking for on YouTube? Well, I have to play the YouTube game myself. So if any of you are already subscribed to my channel, if you watched the video I made yesterday about the anxiety attack I was having, like, it was the worst anxiety I've had in a long time. I'd say at least within the last year or two, it was the worst anxiety attack I had, and I made this video. And a few hours later, like my girlfriend, she's out of town visiting her, her little brother for his birthday, this is them right there, and they're having a great time, but I was texting her and I was freaking out and all sorts of stuff, and later, you know, a few hours later, uh, she asked me, she's like, hey, how are you doing? 
she's amazing, isn't she? She's asked me how I'm doing and I told her, I'm like, I'm phenomenal. I am doing great. And she asked me like what I did and I told her, I gave her this laundry list of what I did, all the tools that I use to overcome my anxiety. See, back in the day, that would have lasted all day. It would have lasted for days, me just freaking out, all right? And I told her all the things I did and how great I feel. And I just was telling her, I'm like, I, I just want people to learn that they can do this too. I want people to learn that anxiety doesn't have to control their lives. I want people to learn that there are tools that they can use to live a productive life, even if they have some type of anxiety disorder or other mental illness. You know what I mean? And that's why I do what I do here on YouTube is to help all of you. And I gotta package it in a certain way just so I can get through to you. And one of the problems is, is human nature. Like I analyze people all the time. I think people are very, very interesting and fascinating but the reality is is that we're more into that kind of stuff we're more likely to click on that type of stuff I remember my son was asking me one time like why is the news always so negative negative?" and I told him I said it's not the news's fault like that's just what people want to watch it's it's unfortunate but that's how the news does their thing and they sensationalize things and they blow things up because that's what you the viewer are going to watch like I know in a in a in a perfect imaginary world, if the news was called like, happy fun news hour, you know, that would be it. But the thing is, like when people watch that, they're like, that's lame, that's dumb. Ugh. So the news only does like these little segments of like cute little animals and da 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 da. But most of the time they're talking about, you know, tragedy and drama and all these other things and blowing it way out of proportion because that's what you as the viewer wants to watch. And it sucks, but you know, like, that's what I have to look at myself for too. I have to say, okay, do I click on things that are just happy and inspirational or am I looking for this negativity out there in the world? So I don't know, we gotta check in with ourselves. Like maybe someday in the future, people will change and just wanna look at things that better themselves and stuff like that and be motivated and inspired and improve themselves. But for the most part, people are into the drama and you know, especially here on YouTube, there's so much stuff going on. People are like, oh, what's their opinion about this? What's their opinion about this? What's their opinion about this? And then they come across my channel and they're like, oh, this guy actually talks about mental health. Oh wait, I struggle with those things. Oh wait, maybe I should subscribe and see what else this guy has to say. And I'll be honest with you, like it really bums me out. It bums me out because I have so many videos. I have over 400 videos on this channel. So if you're new, like make sure you go binge watch those. Like I have over 400 videos and there's so many videos where like I just, made what I feel is like some of the best content I've ever created. I'm like, this video is going to help so many people. But because it doesn't have like a celebrity or famous YouTube on there, like barely anybody watched it. Like barely anybody watched the video and I'm like, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. But some of you out there who are new to my channel, you go back through my catalog and you're like, oh wait, oh, oh, oh. And you start clicking on that stuff. But the problem is, is that, it, it's not gonna help if nobody can find that video because it's not related to something else that's like trending in the news. So like, it, I hate it because I'm like, man, that video was so good and I know it can help thousands and thousands and thousands of people, but nobody's ever gonna see it. And if you don't believe me, like, let's take a look at my videos right now. Let's take a look at my most popular videos. All right, so my most popular videos, like I, my channel really started to get big when 13 Reasons Why came out. And look at this, like my top three videos are all about 13 Reasons Why. And and each one of those is actually a pretty good video about mental health. That first one right there, like that one is actually about perspective, but it has it has 100,000 views. Like what? That's my first video to have 100,000 views. And I purely talk about perspective in that video. Now, I got kind of lucky with, uh, you know, a couple of these other videos, like the opiate withdrawal one and the alcohol withdrawal one, but that's something that people are actually looking up, you know, on YouTube. They're like, how long does this last? What's it like? Da, 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 da. Um, but if you look at my next videos, look, one about Nicole Arbor, another one about 13 Reasons Why, another one about Graveyard Girl, and then you go down, it's 13 Reasons Why, 13 Reasons Why, 13 Reasons Why, and then there's my video about Jeffree Star, and I think my Jeffree Star one is probably the best example. So Shane Dawson did his whole documentary with Jeffree Star, and in the finale, they talked a lot about mental health, uh, Jeffree Star talked about his past with, you know, his depression, his uh, self-harming behaviors and all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. This is a mental health topic I could talk about. And it's a trending topic right now. I have so many comments in that video where people are like, oh my God, like, I'm so glad I found your channel. So 
Like that's that's why I keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like there's so many people who also those 13 reasons why videos or the uh, the graveyard girl video or other just trending topics or even some of these makeup guru videos. People are like, I'm really glad I found your channel. You know, like thank God they were looking for other stuff, maybe about drama or stuff going on in the community. And they found a mental health channel and now they're like getting help. Now they're improving their lives, you know? So like, I know I've made a few videos about like, don't care what people think and stuff like that. But like, I just wanted to explain to you because I think this is a good mental health topic in and of itself. Like, why are we not looking for how to help ourselves. Why are we not looking for those things? Like, yeah, I know there's some self-help channels out there that are like exploding and stuff like that. And like, as I continue to get bigger and to grow, I know I can make some of those other videos that are just purely, purely mental health. Like no other person is involved, no celebrity, no YouTuber, no trending topic, no news. Like, I know I'm gonna be able to do that at some point, but as I am very, very small and growing this channel, like again, that dog analogy, I gotta wrap that medicine up in something nice and tasty just to get people here so they can help themselves, you know what I mean? So, but anyways, like I love all of you and I love that, you know, we just actually hit 11,000 subscribers, that's insane. And you know, part of it's because I tricked you into coming in here, <laughs> no, it's not even a trick. Like we need to watch videos that can actually help us learn from the situation. I'm gonna link a video up here about why we need to talk about YouTube drama or whatever, and I explain how we watch videos passively and not try to learn from them. But anyways, like that's all I got. Um, I would love to know your opinions or comments down below. Like, what videos do you click on? What videos? Like, are you someone out there constantly looking for videos that can help you? Or do you watch a lot of drama videos or news videos and things like that? Let me know down in the comments because you'll help me create other videos to get more people over here so they can learn how to help themselves improve their mental health. All right, but that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, once again, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell because I make so many videos, it is madness up in here. All right, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you wanna get yourself some sick Rewired Soul merch, make sure you click or tap on that little shop icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.